In this tutorial, we will be installing the GD Sync plugin. The GD Sync plugin is an all in one multiplayer plugin for Godot. For this tutorial series, we will be using a template project, which is a simple single player platformer. During this series, we will add full multiplayer support. The template project can be found in the video description if you want to follow along. To begin, head over to the asset library and type in GD Sync in the search bar. Click download and then install. Once installed, head over to the project settings and enable GD Sync in the plugins tab. Reload the project and you will see that GD Sync has been successfully installed. Now that GD Sync is installed, we need to do some slight configuration. To open the GD Sync configuration menu, head over to Project Tools and then GD Sync. Here in the configuration menu, you can find settings and links to official resources. The next step is to go to the website and generate a new API key. Once you have your key, make sure to copy and paste it into the configuration menu. Now that the plugin is fully configured, we can start writing a script to connect to the server network and go online. You can interact with the plugin using the GD Sync Singleton. First, let's connect all signals related to establishing a connection. We need to connect the connected and connection failed signals. Make sure to define both functions. Connected is called when the plugin successfully connects to the server network. Connection failed is called if something goes wrong. You can optionally add some error handling. Now that both signals are connected, we need to call the start multiplayer function to go online. We can now start the game and see if we successfully connected to the server network. Now that we are connected, we can create a lobby. Lobbies allow your players to join and play together. To create a lobby, we must start by connecting the lobby created and lobby creation failed signals. Make sure to define the functions for these as well. To create a lobby, use the lobby create function. We will call this function after we established our connection. Let's run the game and see if everything is working correctly. Creating a lobby does not automatically join it. Let's write some code to join the lobby we just created. Just as before, connect the lobby joined and lobby join failed signals and define their respective functions. In this example, we join the lobby as soon as it is created. If another player already created it for us, we join it as well. Let's test if two players can both join the lobby. Godot allows you to start multiple instances of your game. To enable this, go to Debug, Customize Run Instances, Enable Multiple Instances, and input how many instances you want to start. Now, if we press play, Godot will launch two instances instead of one. As can be seen in the console, both players have successfully joined the lobby. This concludes the first tutorial. In the next tutorial, we will be spawning in players, synchronizing their positions, and handling inputs. Thank you for watching and choosing GD Sync. See you all in the next video.